Hello, welcome to LED Toys. I have got one of the Lego Movie 2 sets. This is the one that you guys most requested, the pop-up party bus. So we will build this one first. Not only does it have a cool buildable disco kitty, but it's got like a spaceship sci-fi party bus, a disco bus, like a disco mobile that flies through the air. And it's huge, like this is more than a thousand pieces. There are eight bags and a really, really big book. So let me get that out and not many stickers so that's all right but this book's looking good okay let's get started we have got mini dolls in this set because the lego movie 2 is where mini dolls and minifigures are all gonna live together in peace and harmony they're all gonna get along that's what i got from the trailer so that's totally what's gonna happen this is melody she has got also a sci-fi disco outfit and it is retro and it is many many levels of cool and her face is so cartoony it's just so awesome everything is awesome and it's so cool that this is part of the plan to have a massive massive pink afro and some mini dolls with some new looks oh, i get so excited and melody has got a pink microphone where is it here it is a pink microphone this is the first time we've seen a microphone in this color and even better, the set comes with two microphones. That is awesome, cause as I said before, and the Lego movie has already said, everything is awesome. Now, we've also got Tempo. Tempo comes in, I think bag three, I've pinched him out of bag three, and he is DJ Tempo. He's in, <laughs> he's in charge of the beats. Oh my goodness, I just got that joke. Tempo, beat, yeah. Oh, God, it can be really slow sometimes. Tempo has got the, the man torso, so the masculine torso, and he has got the most cartoony face I have ever seen so far on a mini doll. He <laughs> just looks great. And his hairpiece is a recolor of one that we've already seen before with the headphones, and he is ready to, yeah, he's ready to, 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 to keep the tempo. In fact, we can actually give him because we haven't built his DJ booth yet that comes soon. He can have the other microphone and he and Melody can sing a duet, a space duet. I don't know. Now this also is very exciting. Look at the color of these, these pinky things. They're like neon. They're like a neon salmon -y pink. And the camera is actually not picking up the vibrancy of the color of these pieces. You're going to have to see them in person. And I don't know what this part is, but it's printed and that's pretty cool. Why is it printed when we've got all these stickers to put on? I don't know. Actually, I have no idea what I'm building. Oh, yes I do. Now it's starting to become clear. We're gonna be building Disco Kitty a little bit later on, but this is the first of the buildable characters. Oh, look at that arched piece. That's, oh, we're gonna see quite a few of these in this season's sets, I think. And we're putting some eyeballs on the front. He's got little rounded over ears. That's so good that we don't just have to use the cheese slices anymore to make little ear shapes. All right, uh, so oh, I absolutely forgot to introduce this character because I got so excited by the shape of that piece. This is ZB. I think it's ZB. I think ZB sounds really cute, so I'm going to pronounce his name ZB. <laughs> Though we'll probably find out when the Lego movie is actually released that it's pronounced entirely differently. But ZB is a space zebra. Uh, so obvious. I mean, you look at him, you think space zebra. <laughs> okay, it's time to start the build of the pop-up party bus. And because there are so many pieces in this, I'm going to speed this up quite a lot through the slightly more boring bits. Though so there's lots of cool colors in this, so it's interesting to build. What is this piece? I've never seen this piece before. I wonder what this piece does. Oh, we will find out soon. There are two of those pieces. And we are using these enormous big quarter circle pieces. I love having some more of them. Oh, oh I'm officially really, really excited because this is new and in the new color too. It's, it's little cogs. They're all going to interconnect so that all sorts of things can turn. They're little roundy cogs, little rounded edge cogs, not like the ones in the Technique ones. This is really everything is awesome. It is so cool. And when we put them on here, Oh my goodness, all right, I just need to take a moment to myself here because the cogs are just blowing my mind. That's so, so good. We'll keep building, but the cogs will always be there. I will be able to go back and play with them whenever I want. And we need to put these stickers on. They're gonna be decoration on the outside of the pop-up bus and then I can play with the, the cogs. 
cocks a little bit more, round and round and round they go until they get so giddy and then they might throw up everywhere. So I'll stop doing that for a little while and we will continue with the responsible task of building. Oh, now we're gonna, now we've actually got some way to control this bus and there's little seats there and oh, okay, I'm not really sure what's happening, but I do know we're up to bag number two. And that is very evident and clear and we've got an awful lot of structure and so many bricks to keep going with here. This is such such a big build. This is a, is this new? This is a new shape. That's, I've never ever built a build with those black pieces in it before. That's interesting. I'm going to have to think up some cool ways to use them. This is like one of those big, uh, the music beats chart things. I'm sure they have a proper name, but it's colorful and it's going to show the music and what it's doing. And it makes a great backdrop for all of their spinning. Oh, I just had this thought. Are those spinny things, are they called cogs or are they called gears? And if they're called gears, what's the difference between cogs and gears? Or are they interchangeable? I just don't know. Okay, these are, look like some little lights on the front of the space bus so they don't run into, I don't know, space pigs. Might want to make sure that they've got some nice good illumination when they're out flying around in the uh, dark, dark sky. Got it. That's an interesting archway as well. Interesting doorway arch. So that's given some nice structure to the actual driving area. And look at all these translucent blue pieces or purple pieces. They're definitely, well, they're purpley blue. Um, they are going to add some absolutely fantastic Technicolor to the front of this bus and the translucency of them just makes all this just so much more disco and retro and colorful and everything that is fabulous. Got some more little purple bits just to round it off on the top or swoop it off over the top. And another one of these door frame things. That's so Weird. I don't know how this is all going to, well, it all obviously comes together at the end because the picture on the box shows you that there is an end product here. But I'm so, so interested in building and seeing where it all goes. There are some clips up the top there. So we're going to be hinging something that opens up there. And we're up to bag number three. Let's see what's in bag number three. Huh? We've got brake lights on here. And we've got the first of these stickers that are in... It says space. It totally says S-P-A-C-E. Oh, I don't know, actually. I don't know what that says. That was space something. Space it? Spacer? Going to have to take a closer look at it later. But there's so much building to do. We cannot waste any time. And I love the fact that we're creating all these little stripes with the different colored bricks. Lots and lots of brick created stripes. That's cool. Oh, that's the bottom of a dragon egg. That's the faceted dragon egg. What purpose does that have? Is it a bath? Is it a spinny thing? Apparently it's a spinny thing. <laughs> Got some little windows in here. And a half dragon egg bath. <laughs> this is all so weird and kooky and cool. Oh, it's all going to become clear as we go though. All right, we've got a moving component here. Not that the cogs or gears are not moving components, but they don't move without me actually doing it manually, like putting my finger in. This is where this part comes into play. Let's move the egg out of the way so we can actually see. So this, when you push it in, engages with the gears and makes them all turn around. I wonder what that bottom eggshell's for though. Because we're actually trapping it in here. It's not gonna be very easy to access. It's just getting more and more bricked in. It's a light, there's a light brick people. This is very, very good. I love a good light brick. Now let's see what this light brick does. We're going to need a switch so that it can go on and off and it connects with, let me see. It, actually nothing's connecting here at the moment. Now, we'll play with it in a minute because there's, there's obviously some more things I need to build to make them all interconnect. And some grilly things on the back of the spaceship. <laughs> it's a disco spaceship. Oh, that's just gonna, that's never gonna get old. It's <laughs> funny. Okay, we got more grills that I'm trying to attach here onto the Technique little attachment-y things there, the little plugs. And now we're, we're really starting to see the shape on the back. But this part here is going to make all of our little interconnected pieces work. Watch this. When you push in and turn, the faceting on the bottom part of the egg makes disco lights just splash up everywhere. Let's turn the lights off. 
All right, let's check this out. Look at that. That is not only very cool, but it is really, really clever. That is such a good usage of the faceted dragon egg. Oh, the cogs and the gears just got that much cooler with the added disco ball light. <laughs> right, but I cannot play with these things all day because there's so many more bits to build. We've just made some nice stripes and I need to connect this up with this stripe. And are we... Oh, come on. There we go. Now that's straight. And when we just add a couple more speaker elements here, now we're up to the next bag. We're up to bag number four. And this is the bag that Tempo comes in. Not bag three, I was mistaken there. And he also gets a water bottle. A water bottle so he can give up that microphone because he couldn't sing anyway. Not that that should stop him from trying. Everybody should get to be able to sing because singing is fun. It's really good for you too. Uh, but we're going to put the microphone away. So no more microphone for you because I think it might be time to start working on somewhere for Tempo to be hanging out because we're actually creating a second level to the disco bus. I'm not quite certain how that's all going to work. But, um, I'll find out. I'll just keep building. We're making stripes, actually creating stripes with all these colours. Oh, hold on though. Yeah, that, yep, okay, I think I've got that all right now. So stripes with the bricks, which is what I like a lot. There's so much colour, so many of these little arched pieces all in white. <laughs> so, that's so awesome, it's smoothing over and creating contour. There, oh, this is this is very, very fun. And yeah, I knew I didn't have those stripes right, but they're good now. Now we're making lots and lots of disco lights because up here we have got the DJ booth. Here is a record, printed record pieces, two of them. And on here is his little control panel-y thing. It's so colorful too. And we put these on and then his DJ booth's looking pretty good. He's got all he needs to make his beats. Now we just need to just make it a bit more decorative and make it part of the spaceship. So let's see how that works. We're extending the back up with these technique pieces. And I don't know why we've just put those on a stick. Oh, so we can shove them in here. And then I assume we're gonna shove some more things on them later. We'll put some more grills heading up the back of the ship and some more stripes over here, corresponding colors to really make those stripes pop. And number five, we're up to bag number five. And his DJ booth looking pretty good. Those black technique pieces have extended up the back of what his DJ booth is going to be. So that looks like the structure that we're going to be working around. Let's see what we are building here. We've got hinges. We've got hinges so we're going to have opening parts or maybe they'll be used just to create angles. We'll find out soon. Looks like they might be Looks like they might be opening parts though. And some more of these same colors to keep creating those stripes with that neon orangey pinky color and the magenta pink. Oh, and the blue too. I wouldn't want to forget about the blue. They're all working together to create a colorful spaceship with a disco theme. <laughs> it's really great. All right, looks like our hinges are remaining hinges. So we're making some opening areas. actually looking a little bit like a face. I wonder if it's another little buildable character. I don't think it is, but it kind of looks like one. Some more stripes, uh, stripes, some more stripes with these roundy ovary pieces. And some massive big speaker thingamy bobs that they have on DJ things. <laughs> I'm so down with this. I know exactly what I'm talking about. So massive speaker banks. I think that's what I meant to say. <laughs> speaker banks. And now that looks just like little eyes behind him with the blue. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's not what it's supposed to be. Let's see what's going on the back here. Oh, well, that didn't become very clear at all. But look at this. All of my stripes are lining up and the disco bus is really starting to take shape. And we're up to bag number six. Now keep calling it disco bus, but it's actually the pop-up party bus, but it's so retro. It is so disco and here's Unikitty, disco Unikitty. So let's build her so she can join in the discoing fun. She can hop on the little cogs and spin around with the psychedelic lights going on behind her. She's just all filled with pastels and rainbowy colors. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that a new tail print? And she has got 
some disco boots. Wow, those boots are made for walking or discoing. Now we've got all the characters built. She also gets a water bottle. It's sad she doesn't actually have any hands to hold it, but she does have a horn. We won't put it on there because it might make her less happy. She can be in the middle of that big gear. Actually, they can't be there in there together. That's not going to turn around. Let's see what this bag has to offer us. It looks like we are going to be adding some colorful lights because everything is color in this. Uh, and they're going in the back here of the DJ booth. And I reckon that's the DJ booth primarily done. I can't see where you could actually fit anything more in there apart from Tempo. So he can hang out there soon. Let's continue on with the building and see what we have got next. Ooh, next up, we've got a sticker and I can read this one. This one totally says, turn it over, it says karaoke. Why couldn't I read the other one? That says karaoke, even though it's in the weird space language alphabet -y thing. Oh, I love this big curved purple window. I love the translucent pieces. It's all just so funky. And we're striping it up, going up here as well. The black and the white and oh, purple stripes down here. This is all just getting way too exciting. We're starting to actually put some of the details on. <laughs> That's so pretty. That is so funky. Oh, I love all those smooth pieces and the roundy pieces and that purple window. This is all getting very, very exciting. Okay, what are we building now? Looks like we're adding lights to it and putting it inside here. Is this a karaoke? Oh, it's where they go to sing karaoke, though. Doesn't the karaoke word go up sideways? It's a platform, so it's a stage that you actually flip out. And <laughs> so they must park this and then just flip out all the bits, open it up, have a disco, a moving disco, a portable disco, and then they can pack it all up again, and fly off to the next planet, wherever they've been employed to go. <laughs> this is cool. This is really a really fun build. Now we have got a disco ball, which is not quite as good as the one that's down there lighting up the dance floor, but we need a nice big, we need a nice big disco ball to hang over the top of everything. And this is going to serve that function. <laughs> Check that out, it spins around. And when we attach it over here, oh, it's actually really, really high. And it just tucks in nice and neatly on top of the DJ booth. And we're up to bag number seven. There's still plenty to go though. Such a big build. Oh, check out those translucent purple pieces all rounded over. Mixed with all of these colors. It's just, it should be a nightmare, but it all looks great. There is a seat now. This is somewhere where a mini doll can sit. So is this where they're gonna, well, it's not where they're gonna drive from, though this could be like the big windscreen. Though she's facing the wrong way. So that's, that, 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 that's not gonna be what it is. All right, I'm just guessing now, cause I don't really know. Let's find out <laughs> what it's gonna turn into. Can't figure out what this is too. It's like an, another little platform or another little stage. I don't know. Oh, we've got some little ice creamy things. And that goes on the, ah, okay. Okay, this goes on the back here. And this becomes like a seat or a bed maybe for the mini doll? Is it a seat? Is it a bed? It all closes in very cozily. She's hanging over the top of the DJ booth there. <laughs> it's very compact. Okay, let me see. We've got another little hinge here about to happen gonna be connecting this we've got some more of those connecting stripes this is, looks like it's gonna be decoration on the side oh that comes down the bottom here that's so cool it comes out like a little wing too you can angle it in or out or up and of course we're going to need a mirror image one for the other side <laughs> oh this ship's going to fly quite wonky it might already fly wonky it is a party of us I don't think it's gonna fly straight. So it goes on this side and they can angle them out. It looks like a little spaceship and this is just getting so cool. <laughs> so good, I love all the colors. I love the theme, I love the style, I love it all. All right, some of these exhaust things, I don't know what you call them, that come out of the back of the spaceship and the fact that they are flaming pink is so many levels of cool. <laughs> that looks awesome. 
I just trying to refrain from saying everything is awesome or everything looks awesome all the time. <laughs> but I'm just not going to be able to help myself soon. I think we're up to bag number eight. And this is obviously going to finalize the build and we will see how it all goes together. That is a massive translucent piece in my new favorite purpley blue big what does that say? Sacla... Oh, I don't know what that says. Why can't I read that? Why did I find it so... Oh, why did I find it so easy to read karaoke, but I can't read that? Ah, uh, well, you're gonna have to tell me in the comments if you can figure it out, because I don't know. I'm gonna have to go and stare at it for a little bit longer and see if I can... Oh, it's the windshield. It's the windscreen. That's massive and epic. Holy moly. I think I need some more describing words. This is all turning out really very, very good. And it's just, it's so wacky. I <laughs> love it. I love it so much. Let's see. This is, looks like this is going to be the final part to close it up. We've got another big contoured translucent purpley blue windowy bit. That was quite a mouthful to say. And this goes... This is going to be the front. This is going to, it's, it's got to be, there's nowhere else we can be putting it. But what have we got here? Don't tell me we're getting more cogs. We're getting more cogs. We're getting another dance floor. Or gears. Ack. It's really annoying me that I'm not certain which one it's supposed to be. It's another dance floor. Or is it another one on another level? Or is it going to, oh, we'll find out when I attach it. Uh, but I have to pull it apart because I've just put those around the wrong way. We need more outward facing studs on the outside, not on the inside. So that's better. Now we can put all of our little stripey elements on because we've got the right number of studs facing the correct way. <laughs> it just, it just makes it look really great. So our, it's an extension of the dance floor. It pops up like this, it goes down. So we've got so many twisty turny parts with the gears. Let's put it all together, flip up the karaoke stage, and then we can open it up and they can have a total party inside. <laughs> I can't wait to see the movie to see how this all works out. Of course, it's gonna need wheels, but it flies through the air, but it's gonna need some wheels for when it lands. So we've got some tiny ones and some bigger ones, just a couple of big ones, littles and bigs. Big one in here. And on the other side, oh, that front windscreen comes off. That's great. I'll put that on the wrong way around. I'm going to need my orange tool for that. There we go. Now that is not an overly mobile party bus when it is on the ground. Though it does have wheels so it can roll around. But it's going to look better in the air. And ZB is supposed to be the driver. That driving seat is designed especially for ZB. So he is in here. And I just got to pop it all open again. We've got to pop up the pop-up party bus. They just go everywhere and have a surprise, surprise disco party. Woo! <laughs> oh, look, disco kitty can go over here. And the DJ booth is all set up and tempo's up there. And Melody's ready to sing something for you. And the disco lights are flashing. Oh, and it is all going on here at whichever planet we're on in the something disco region of the something or other galaxy. I don't know, everybody's getting so giddy they can't remember what's going on. Oh, and we can make the wings go all the way up and they will create another platform. So another level for performing on and discoing on. So let's get everybody loaded back into the disco bus. In here for you, Tempo. Over here for a bit of a nap for you, Melody. That is a little bit too cozy. Disco ball down. And ZB the space zebra into the driver's seat. And, oh, almost forgot to close up the karaoke floor. But now they're ready to take off or blast off or wobble into the air. However it is that they get airborne or spaceborne because there's no air in space. I told you I wouldn't be able to fly straight. I <laughs> just knew it. Oh, there it goes. It is heading off into outer space, spreading joy and technicolor disco music and wherever it goes in the universe. Bye-bye, little spaceship. And well, bye to everybody else because it's time to go. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. Check out some of my other builds and I'll see you with some more very, very soon. Bye.